Reinhold Deisenhofer says if you have no plans for the next 1,440 minutes, he'd recommend a 24-hour race. It's extreme motorsport and very exciting. The most famous races are at Germany's Nürburgring, in Le Mans, in France and here in Spa in Belgium. 24 hours is a long time and it puts a lot of pressure on both car and driver. As so often in Spa, it's rainy today. But many spectators are toughing it out as they arrive for the top race of the Blanc Pain and Durin series. We're accompanying the Bentley team today. We have great cars at the moment. We have absolutely world class drivers. This type of track suits us. We love endurance racing. We love the durability aspect of it. We love the long term aspect of it. So, very excited about racing today. During final preparations, there's a lot of activity in the pit. They get the cars ready here and discuss strategies. What's most important is that you are, you are planned carefully for all eventualities. So it'll be times when it's dry and times when it's wet. And planning that carefully and deciding what to do properly as a team, that's where it's important. That's where you can have a benefit or a disadvantage from the rain. I think, you know, if obviously if the race was going to be dry, it would have been okay, but now we're seeing a very different set of circumstances. So um, we've only currently done one race in the wet with the new Bentley Continental GT3. So, you know, we're going to be learning, I think, when we're going into this race. We've got some good data from Monza earlier in the year. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll stick some wet tires on it, you know, lift the right height so it doesn't aquaplane and then see where we end up. It's the taking part that counts, maybe doesn't apply at this level. Reinhold says Bentley is a brand that combines luxury and motorsport going back 100 years. Now in 2019, Bentley is competing in the 24-hour race at Spa. The last quarter is particularly important. You have to get through the night and the morning hours to have a chance to stand on the victor's podium. It's time to start the engines. From here, the vehicles drive a few laps behind the safety car. When it goes into the pit, a flying start follows. Right from the start, the conditions are far from ideal. The combination of wet track and treadless slicks quickly claims its first victims. But the track isn't wet enough for a change to rain tires. This demands all the driver's skills. If you brake too early, you will be overtaken. But if you brake too late, you risk losing control and hitting the barriers. And as if that weren't enough, it's a tough battle going head to head with the likes of Ferrari, Lamborghini and Porsche. He says that even in a 24-hour race, something can happen on the very last lap. That's what's exciting about a long-distance race. For one, a minor collision can quickly cause a visual obstruction. This means an unscheduled pit stop that throws you to the back of the group. In the worst case, the vehicle is demolished and you're out of the race. If an accident interferes with the race, there's a full course yellow flag. That means you have to be hauled back to the pit. It's nuts out there, it's really tricky for the drivers. And it's also been changing, so it's tricky for the teams to choose the right tires, take the risk with the slicks or go early on wets, but then you can destroy them. So it's, it's spa at its uh, worst or best, however you see it. Things aren't going right for Bentley. One vehicle crashed in the sixth lap, another is surrounded by mechanics in the pit. We've had gearbox issues since the second hour, so we have been parked in the garage for a long time now and uh, we probably don't go out. We might do some testing at the end of it, but uh, so we haven't retired, but we are basically out of the race, so um, it hasn't been nice. Slowly darkness falls over Spa and the race goes into the night phase. The rainfall is increasing steadily and is taking more and more cars out of the race. 
In the dark, the poor visibility adds to the adverse track conditions. It takes quite a lot of courage to drive at high speeds in the slipstream of the car in front. And sometimes visibility is zero. The water whipped up from the track and the downpour lead to another safety car phase. The weather radar says there'll be no improvement for the next few hours, with more rain on the way. Since there's no way to drive safely on the track now, the race is interrupted at 5.45 a.m. The race only resumes at 11.38 a.m. The lost time is not added to the total. Drivers are getting into more and more smash-ups as they jockey for position. In total, 21 out of 71 vehicles don't make it to the finish line. The GPX racing team wins in the Porsche 911 GT3R, with Kevin Estre as the final driver. Bentley's only two cars left in take places 29 and 49. It was a crazy race, really tough one. We've been through all, all the conditions. Last stint, two full course yellow, two safety car, raining the whole time in slicks. In the night, mega, mega aquaplaning. Uh, I mean, we survived this one. We had a few scratches, but uh, everything good. The car was mega. Reinhardt thinks this year's 24-hour race will go down in Spa's history for the most safety car phases and the longest break in the pouring rain. For Spa, where rain is nothing unusual, that's pretty exceptional. That made the race weekend special for all who came to take part or watch. Special maybe, but the drivers and spectators will surely be hoping for better weather next year.